Hello everyone and welcome to the course of HDL Digital Circuit Design. Today's topic is Introduction to HDL that is Hardware Description Language. Myself Shilpa Kedarudrabar, Assistant Professor, School of ENTC Engineering, MIT Academy of Engineering, Ayandi Pune. So moving ahead with the today's topic. So what is meant by HDL? As I told you, HDL is the hardware description language. It is a specialized computer language used to describe the structure, design and operation of digital circuit. That is to model the electronic system, you are using hardware description language. Hardware description language are used in design and development of digital circuits such as microcontrollers, memory, integrated circuit and whatnot. They allow designer to model a behavior and structure of complex digital system at a various level of abstraction from high level function description to the low level that is gate level implementation. Here you are able to see that on the right hand side there is a diagram showing IC and uh, from the top side and from bottom side you need to implement it through PN junction uh, connection over there. After that you are implementing the circuit out of it it after that using this circuit you are implementing certain gates using that gate you are implementing certain modules for example ARU control unit and whatnot after integrating all this model you might be designing your microcontroller and th that is nothing but a system so this is the final outcome so from PN junction to IC design that is implementing certain microcontroller or a, any functionality out of that it is a top level model so what are the key features of HDL? So first is the abstraction level. That is, it supports different abstraction level that already I told you, told you from including behavioral to the RTL and gate level. So behavioral level. So what is meant by behavioral? It describes what the system does, focusing on the algorithms uh, and the functionality without specifying how the system is implemented. So if you are knowing the truth table of AND gate, you will be writing the functionality that if 0, 0, 0 output will be 0, if 1, 1, 1 output will be 1, that way you need to write the functionality in terms of algorithm. Second is the RTL, that is the register transfer level. It is also called as a flow of uh, data flow. So it describes the data flow between registers and logical operation performs on data. That if I want my output of this AND gate as a C, it's uh, equal to a and b so i'll be writing in that way that value of c will be having output of a and b now gate level so it describes the precise logical gates and their interconnection that makes up the circuit so suppose i am having this module as a alu another module as a control unit another module as a memory accumulator so after combining all these module differently that integrating that all this module I'll be getting functionality so that is called as a gate level so over here I should know the modular level structure so that I can code it in a gate level now what is meant by concurrency concurrency means execution in the parallel normally hardware execute parallelly that is concurrently all the blocks executes parallelly so in C normally execution happens in sequential way one after another but here in HDL most of the statements execute concurrently that is parallelly as like a hardware and that's why it's is somewhat fast now what is meant by simulation another key feature is simulation and synthesis HDL enables design to test and verify the behavior of the circuit through simulation before actual hardware implementation that you will be writing a test bench which will be generating stimulus that is soft input and that will be given to your design whatever code you have written so as per the functionality written in the code it will be taking input from this test bench and it will be providing you a output that you can verify whether it is working in the same way as per the truth table in that way you will be checking that it is working properly or not now what is meant by synthesis which is the another key feature it is converting your high level code into gate level netlist so HDL is used for generating automatically physical implementation of the circuit which will be used in fabrication next what is the next key feature it includes notion of time time is very crucial part in simulating a digital circuit so in HDL you are able to provide some delay constructs clock timing so you can add that timing information in your code like a hardware in which you are 
in uh, executing something it will be delayed because of that gate delay so same feature you can add over here by using some constructs such as delay clock and timing control statement next point is modularity the design can be break down into different modules that can be used again as per your requirement so that is the modularity and last one is the portability verilog code can be synthesized and simulated across various tools and the platform it also ensures the board compatibility same code can be dumped into various hardware whatever you are having fpga board cpld so that you can dump so that is what is called as a portability moving ahead with the next ppt so what are the hdl so hardware description language there are three types there first is vhdl very high speed integrated circuit hardware description language it is uh, normally a strongly type language it is not a case sensitive uh, it uses complex data type and somewhat it is a structured uh, way of writing a code where you are starting with the libraries first then you are writing a entity and then you are writing a functionality in the architecture so it is a structured way of writing a code second verilog next common hdl is verilog in the our syllabus we will be targeting verilog because it is uh, used in the industry for academia also and industry also and it is used for verifying the digital circuit now what is meant by verification that correctness of digital design whatever you have designed that you need to check whether functionality wise it is proper or not before manufacturing so it is the correctness of your design it is commonly used in the industry for asic and fpga design so asic stand for application specific integrated circuit so for dedicated application if you need to design any ic for that also verilog is used up fpga that is field programmable gate array for reconfiguration purpose in college if i i am testing one of the practical over there if it fails i can reconfigure it by modifying so that way this is verilog is somewhat simple it is like same like a c uh, it is case sensitive and it is not that way strongly type language it is everything you are writing in terms of module in between module and end module so th this is somewhat easy next is system verilog it is the extension of your verilog and this system verilog is used for verification some uh, um, additional features are included for the verification purpose and it is it provides object oriented programming capabilities and advanced verification constructs so this is for verification so example of uh, verilog and vhdl code so as i told you earlier that vhdl stands for very high speed integrated circuit hardware description language which is strongly type language uh, in which the structure is fixed that is you need to write libraries first then you need to add entity that is ports available and then you will be writing inside the architecture that is functionality how it is working so this is the whole structure of vhdl code here the code of and gate is written where a and b are two inputs and y is the output and uh, how it will be uh, function uh, functionality but it will be working that y equal to a and b so a and b value will be uh, processed and it will be placed in variable y now what is verilog code it is the simple it is not that way strongly type language everything lies in between module and end module this is what is the inputs or ports available that is input port input port and output port and this is the keyword that is different abstraction levels are there modeling modeling styles are there so this is the data flow modeling style that is rtl where you need to use this keyword assign this is the uh, case sensitive that's why every keyword will be written in terms of small cases so assign is written y equal to a and b so value of a and b will be putting in y and n module so this is the simple way of writing a verilog code applications of hdl so first application is asic that is implement uh, application specific integrated circuit design so for dedicated application that is the toy car suppose you are having you need to move that toy car up uh, um, forward backward left right so that application dedicatedly customized uh, and uh, that ic can be manufactured so this is the application specific integrated circuit in washing machine that specific uh, dedicated application is there and that ic you need to design so you can go ahead with this hdl fpga field programmable gate array for reconfigurable purpose you will be having that fpga so in that programming uh, fpga you will be using that hdl for 
modeling digital circuit to model behavioral uh, behavior structure of that circuit you will be able to use hdl and last is verification and testing so that is uh, system verilog as i told you it is the more advanced version of your verilog some uh, advanced features are there for verification purpose so this is verification and testing you are using that uh, hdl moving ahead with why to learn verilog so in industry verilog is widely used over vhdl because it is somewhat easy to write and for verification also you are using Verilog because system Verilog is a advanced version of your Verilog so it will be easy to go ahead with the verification so as per industry standard we are moving ahead with the Verilog versatility applicable for ASIC as well as FPGA ASIC is the customized one and FPGA is the reconfigurable one so for both the uh, purpose you can use that Verilog foundation of system Verilog as I told you system Verilog is the uh, language for verifying the design and uh, correctness of your design so for the verification purpose you are using uh, system Verilog to know system Verilog you should be having the basic knowledge of Verilog so ultimately in summary Verilog is a powerful and essential HDL for digital design and verification with a rich history and broad industry adoption so we are uh, learning here Verilog now what is the basic difference between Verilog and C so everyone knows C in engineering C is the first year you are having C so what is HDL so as per as I told you HDL is the hardware description language which describes the hardware and C is the general purpose pro programming language purpose of Verilog is to design and verify digital circuit over here C develops system software and application extension to the Verilog file is .v and extension of C programming is .c abstraction level that is behavioral gate level and register transfer level is available but there is no such levels available in C common keywords that are wire register input output in out in C we are having float if int what is the use of Verilog describes digital system such as flip-flop microcontroller memory switches and here C is used for building operating system database compilers etc it is developed by IEEE and over here it is the Danish rich execution describes hardware for synthesis and simulation so you are able to synthesize the code and simulate the code here you need to compile to the machine code for execution language uh, basis uh, is based on C and it it is the foundation of many languages like Python and Java application for modeling digital circuit and verification of that you'll be using Verilog over here for operating system hardware driver compiler interpreter you are using C language extension there is no nothing over here in Verilog he, uh, extension that is C++ embedded C is the extension of C notion of time as timing plays a crucial role so including the timing delay uh, in the simulation is possible in Verilog by using timing construct there is no such uh, construct uh, timing constructs are available in C and concurrent execution Verilog supports concurrent execution that is parallel processing whenever the statements are written inside the always block the code will be executed sequentially rest of the time it will be executed parallelly so two always block will execute parallelly but whatever written inside the always block that will execute sequentially here such uh, things are not available in C so it is sequential language now what is the difference between Verilog and VHDL so as I told you Verilog is verify logic and VHDL stands for very high speed integrated circuit hardware description language it is somewhat similar like C and it is somewhat syntax is similar like Pascal Verilog is a case sensitive and simple syntax is there VHDL is case insensitive and there is structured way of writing a code that I told you libraries are there there is a entity and lastly you need to have a functionality that is written inside this architecture type system strongly type language more flexible it is not strongly type language and it is flexible but it is strongly type uh, language that data uh, more complex data types are there and that way you need to use concurrency and simulation both are same that is both are concurrent uh, language most of the statements uh, executes concurrently but whatever uh, always block is written 
two always blocks will execute concurrently over here and here two process block execute concurrently whatever written inside always or whatever written inside process which execute sequentially data types there are limited data types that is reg wire integer real here rich data site uh, data types are available that is bit std underscore logic integer real arrays etc design abstraction that you are having a behavioral uh, way of modeling style data flow and gate level same is available here tool support that widely used in the semiconductor industry especially for asic and fpga and it supported by the eda same over here this is widely used in military application aerospace application and supported by most of the major eda tools so here i am ending this particular topic uh, which includes what is meant by hdl what are the different hdl what is the advantage of Verilog? What is the difference between Verilog VHDL and Verilog C? So thank you everyone. Hope you understood and like this video. Happy learning. For the more such video, just subscribe. Thank you. Thank you.